So, uh, about that one? I wrote this, uh, you know, fellas, have y'all ever uh, been involved with a, a woman that she just, she just really likes men? Anybody else out there? You know what I'm saying? I mean, she would just kind of rather... Every woman. <laughs> she would just rather hang around guys than girls. I don't, I don't know if y'all have ever been in that place before, but I... I, I've known some women like that personally, and uh, and I happened to write a song about them. I could flatter myself and tell you it's only me she's attracted to. But she does things that lead me to think that ain't necessarily true. I've seen the way she looks at men, and I've seen the way she looks again. While she's holding on tight to me, there's still a hint of uncertainty, whether it's men in general or me in particular. Something about the opposite sex seems to tickle her fancy a lot. She's never been caught, but I bet she's entertained some entertaining thoughts about not just me and not just a few. No doubt she might attribute that to an overactive hormone or some missing mineral. It just seems like she likes men in general. <laughs> Come to think of it now, she rarely goes out Shopping with a bunch of girlfriends But more than once or twice I found her talking with a bunch of men Sitting under a cloud of smoke Just laughing and telling jokes I don't betray any jealousy, no Cause she always goes home with me But whether it's men in general or me in particular Something about the opposite sex seems to tickle her fancy a lot She's never been caught, but I bet she's entertained Some entertaining thoughts about not just me and not just a few No doubt she might attribute that to an overactive hormone or something Missing mineral, it just seems like she likes men in general. That's right, boy. She likes men in uniforms and men in boots, men in jeans or three piece suits, men in business, men in sports. To make a long story short, whether it's men in general or me in particular, something about the opposite sex seems to take her fancy a lot. She ain't never been caught, but I bet she's entertained some entertaining thoughts about not just me and not just a few. No doubt she might attribute that to an overactive hormone or some missing mineral. It just seems like she likes men. It just seems like she likes men in general. Three years ago when I was cleaning out my 
my my desk drawer, and I found a I found a business card from uh, Cowtown Boots, and it turns out it was it was Garth's business card. It said Garth and Sandy Brooks managers, Cowtown Boots. So I figure. I just got an idea. eBay. Oh no. Put a Garth business card on eBay. What do you think? Yeah, that would be worth five or ten dollars. That would be worth it. Yeah, ten dollar bid, right? Hey, all right, sir. What do you want to be in for? Right. Uh, I remember. Now I do remember where this title come from. I, I was uh, writing with a friend of mine, and uh, we, you know, wrote uh, been successful together. You know, wrote good songs. And we were together one day, and and uh, I don't know. We've been writing together at the time, probably I don't know four or five years. He has some words, a little bit of music stuff. And I said, "Man, we've done this. We've done this, you know." And I said, "And I almost got to." Can you say pissed off over the internet? Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too late now. Oh Lord. <laughs> That's a mile compared to what's on the internet. But I mean, really, I did. You know, I kind of got the red ass. You know, I said, man, uh, I want to write something. And it just blurted out. It just came out of me. I said, I want to write something called Take Me Away From Here. Because at the, that particular moment, you know, I just I just wanted it out. You know, oh, that's right. You know how I feel. Yes, sir. And uh, so we wrote this song. And... Uh, and uh, Tim McGraw cut it back about, I don't know, a month or two ago, and I don't know, you know, his album's not done yet, so I don't know if it'll make the record or not, so I don't know if you'll hear him sing it, but, he cut it, you know, he cut it anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My body burns Like there's a desert deep in me A thirsty soul, a heart soul Unsatisfied, there you are, like a river to the sea. The one chance I have to change my life. Show me that there's something more. Give me hope. 
was uh, I was writing with my good friend of mine, Mark Sanders. It was a Wednesday, and uh, we were over at uh, his office, and and we were talking, getting ready to get started. And one of the pluggers over there, one of the song pluggers over at his office, said something about uh, Vidalia onions being in, and uh, and then he said, "I bet y'all can write a song called Vidalia," and I said. I, I bet we could. So we did. I don't work in crystal. What? There's a good chance I'm gonna screw this up. It's all right, man. The only the only question is how bad. <laughs>